Hi, it's Eliana, and this week on Take 3 is Cooking Slash Baking Week. So what I decided to do was to make Easter-themed cupcakes. So what you're going to need is a cupcake tin sort of thing. I don't really remember what it's called, so just going to be cupcake tin thing. You're going to need vanilla, cupcake, or cake mix. Then any sort of sprinkles or like just Easter-y sprinkles. Um, icing or frosting. And you can either choose to um, use these baking cups that you put the batter in and then you bake it. And like you put them in here. Or you can just spray it with um, like a nonstick stuff. So I just decided to use these because they're like extremely cute. They have little bunnies and like chicks on them. See? Yeah. And then you're going to need some sort of chocolate. Um, like, I, I just have these, um, crunch, um, like, chocolate egg things. Also, you're gonna need, um, like, egg-shaped candy or chocolate. I just have the pretzel ones that are, like, candy-coated. Then, you're going to need three eggs, a cup of water, and one-third cup of oil, and I just use canola oil. So I just realized that I might be using a different cake mix or cupcake mix than you. So this, it said on the box to get um, three eggs, one cup of water, and one-third cup of oil, but it might say something different on your um, mix, or if you're doing it like from scratch, then just go with like whatever it says on the box or what you do in your regular, you know. Cupcake routine. I don't know. <laughs> so on this box of the cupcake slash cake mix that I'm using, it says to preheat the oven to 350. So let's go over to my oven. Preheat to 350. There. I'm going to put into this bowl the cake mix, water, oil, and eggs. And then I'm going to mix it all together. <laughs> We're going to put the cake mix in. So now I'm going to put the water in. So this is one cup of water. That's just what it said on the on the box for what I'm using. And then the oil. Doo -doo -doo. And now I'm going to crack the eggs. And hopefully I won't get any of the shell in there. your hands before you do this. I already did. I just forgot to mention it. Probably. <laughs> uh, actually, you don't probably want to do it. You probably, no. You have to. Wash your hands. So, I'm going to put the eggs in. <laughs> now you're just going to mix it. Oh, this is really hard to... <laughs> Oops. Now, let the mixing begin. Okay, that's good. Very carefully. It's really hard to get them apart though. 
whatever, you know, it's fine. The struggle of baking cupcakes. Okay, so now we have all of those. I'm going to pour this into there. So, I'm going to put the batter into here, but what I use is, some people just pour it in, but I like to use a um, ice cream scoop thing because it helps, like, get the exact size so I don't go, so I don't put, like, less than I'm supposed to or more than I'm supposed to in the sheets things, yeah. I feel like I could put a little more in that. Okay, yeah, that's enough. This helps it to be like way more neat because I noticed that when I just pour it in regularly it gets like all over the sides and stuff so I'm gonna put in a little bit more. Okay, there. Now we're gonna put in these chocolate things in the middle of them. So I'm just gonna unwrap this. It might take a while to unwrap them, so and now I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. Like so. Now I'm just going to continue to put these in the middle of this, of each one. And then I'm just going to put it <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't go over it anyways. Okay, so I'm just putting in the last one. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to put these in the oven. So, the glove. And I'm going to let it bake for 19 to 23 minutes because that's what it's supposed to do on the baking mix box. So I'm just going to go for 20 because it's up kind of in the middle. Okay, 21's in the middle, so that's what we're going to do. So we'll be right back when these are done baking. So I just took out the cupcakes and this is how they look. They're like a nice golden color. So now um, I'm just going to leave them right here and let them cool for like 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so the cupcakes are cooled off and stuff. So um, I already decorated three and I just did three different designs. Um, you can do whatever you want really, but I just decided to do these ones. So I'm going to show you how to do these three. Okay, so for this cupcake... Um, I did like the white frosting or icing and then the green sprinkles on top of it to like represent grass or whatever and then these um, the pretzel eggs I put on top to use as little eggs so they look like little eggs for little chicks and stuff so to create this cupcake um, you have to well, you have to have the icing, like, they come with these little different things, and they have different, um, points, like, at the top, so you, you put it on, oops, you put it on here, and it comes out differently, like, in a different, like, way, so, um, so I use this one, it has, like, the points at the top, or whatever, <laughs> yeah, so, oh, wait, no, I didn't. Wrong one. <laughs> I use this one. It There's like a difference. This one has like four and this one has six. So like, yeah. Use this one. Okay, so and then what I did for this, I just put it all around the top. So, hold on. <laughs> like so. <laughs> And then I just took, I have like all these little sprinkles, so I took the green sprinkles and I just put them over the top. <laughs> and then, now that I have the pretzel eggs things, I just took one of each color and I placed it on how I wanted it. Like that. 
So the second design is this little butterfly, and I just put little pink sprinkles on it. So I just use this tip. It it like it just has one little on the top, so it's not like fancy or anything. And then you just want to make a butterfly. <laughs> This one's kind of a fail, but, you know, it's fine. <laughs> so, now I just put the pink sprinkles on here. And if there's some that are, like, loose on there, well, I don't know how to explain it. But you can just, like, go like this, and it will stick to the icing and stuff. Oops. There we go. So the third and last cupcake design is this one, and it's just, I just spread the ice, icing all over the top of it, and then I put on the little pearl sprinkles, and then I put on little sprinkles that are like, you can see, this one's like a little chick, this one's a carrot, a bunny, and an egg. So for this one, I just took the ice icing, and I put it all over the top. And then I just took a knife and I spread it. So after that, I just took the little pearl sprinkles and I sprinkled them on. And for these, you kind of have to like pat them on a little bit because they don't really stick on the frosting unless you pat them on. So what I just did is I poured a bunch of the sprinkles on here and then I kind of flipped the um, cupcake over and patted it on the sprinkles so that it kind of got sprinkles all over it instead of just on the top. And then I took these um, bunnies and carrot sprinkles and I just poured them in my hand, a few of them. And then I just put them on however I, wherever I wanted them to go. Oops. And then, now I'm going to take the little chick um, and egg sprinkles. And there you go. So if you liked these cupcakes, um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to, you can subscribe to my main channel, which will be in the link below. Also subscribe to Take 3 if you like what we post. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!